Hey all, it's Jerry from Blizz Studio. And in this particular tutorial, we're gonna be looking at ProBuilder in Unity. We're gonna go ahead and build a very simple model, set up some graphics to attach to that model as a material, and you'll be well on your way to creating your very first 3D model. Now, if you're ready to start creating, let's go. So here we are in Unity, and we're gonna go ahead and create a barrel. And we're gonna do this using ProBuilder directly in Unity Editor. So if you don't have ProBuilder installed, go ahead and go to Window, Package Manager, and then with that, you can type in Pro, and then you'll see that ProBuilder pops up. Go ahead and click the Install button, and then that will install in your project. And let's go ahead and close that window, and let's get started. I'm gonna get into detailed ProBuilder tutorials at another time, but we're gonna keep this simple, all right? So there's a couple different ways that we can go ahead and start to create our shape. First, we need the ProBuilder window. First, how do we get to that? Well, you click on Tools, so that's now available to us, and you'll see ProBuilder and then ProBuilder window. If you click on that, then a window will pop up for ProBuilder. I currently have this docked with my hierarchy. So in my window here, you can see here's my ProBuilder, and then I've got some different options here. I'm not gonna go into these just in this particular tutorial, but you can see that there's options for new shape, poly shape, bezier shape, and then some other items as well. But I'm gonna keep this simple in this particular tutorial. So what we're gonna do is within our hierarchy, if you right click or control click, you'll see that you have an option for Pro Builder. And I'm gonna go ahead and just create a cylinder, all right? So this gives me a basic cylinder shape that is low poly. Now, if you want to, you can definitely increase the number of polygons for this and uh, some other different options, but for, for now, we're gonna keep this simple. So with ProBuilder, you can see that there's icons associated at the top of the scene window. The first icon is to allow me to select the whole game object. The next icon is the vertex, and this allows me to select the individual points that make up this shape. So you can see if you select one of those, what that does. If you select the next icon, this is the edge. So any of these edges you can select. And once you select one of those, you can move it. And then the last is to select faces. Now with any of these selected, the vertex, the lines, or the face, you can actually use that to extrude new shapes out of that shape, okay? So if I click the Move tool by holding down the Shift key, and drag, I'm now creating a new part of that shape. So you can see how if you wanted to create a very simple character, right? I have the option of creating some arms. I can also then create some legs at the bottom, but we're creating a very simple barrel. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. The next thing we wanna do is, so what I wanna do is to have a barrel that a little bit smaller on the top and the bottom and a little bigger in the middle. The way we're gonna accomplish that is there's two different ways. We can select the faces that are across the top or we, in the middle part of the barrel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select this middle part. So I'm holding down the shift key and clicking each of those individual faces. So now I have all of the middle faces selected. I'm gonna use my scale tool and then with the proportional scale um, selected, the gray box, I click and I drag and you can see how I can make that skinnier or a little bigger. And so we're gonna make it just a little bit bigger to kind of give that barrel shape. Now we kind of need to work on the top part of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one of these faces. So with the top uh, face selected, you can see that there's a bunch of different faces. So this adds some complexity to our shape. Now what I wanna do is I wanna have the wood barrel parts be a little bit thicker and then there be an indented lid. Okay, so the way we're gonna accomplish that is I'm gonna go back to my Pro Builder window. With one of these faces selected, I can select Grow Selection. And then it selects all the faces that are there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing where I want there to be an additional set of vertices. So I'm gonna hold down my Shift key and scale down. And now it looks like this is the top part of the edge of the wood. Now I'm gonna do that one more time. Hold down the shift and just inset slightly. And then I'm gonna to switch to my move tool and then I'm just gonna move that down just a little bit so it looks like it's indented. So that lid is kind of inset. 
cool. So I now have the kind of basic shape for my barrel. All right, so this is, uh, we're sticking with a low poly look here. All right, so over in Photoshop, I have already started setting up what a barrel would kind of beam part could look like with a band. I'm gonna go ahead and add an additional band here. And so that's gonna be the middle part of the barrel, okay? So let's go ahead and just save this to our Unity project. Click Save. So now that's in my Unity project. And what I wanted to do is I wanna go ahead and create a material out of that, okay? So I'm gonna go into my Materials folder and select Create Material. And I wanna create a material for barrel. Okay, so I select that, and with that selected, I have in my sprites folder, my barrel wood. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that into my base map. Okay, so now you can see that this is what that material looks like. Now it's a little bit shiny, so we wanna change this from a metallic workflow to a specular workflow. And then we'll probably take the smoothness down so it's not as shiny. And then I think that should look pretty good. All right, so let's go back to our barrel and we're gonna take that barrel material and add it to our barrel. Cool, so we're getting pretty much there, but every single face has that artwork duplicated on it and we don't want that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to select these faces that's one piece of wood. So we're gonna go ahead and with the face tool selected, I'm not gonna worry about the bottom. So with the face tool selected, I'm gonna select what would be one of those pieces of wood. And then I'm gonna go into my Pro Builder UV editor, okay? And then I currently have that docked down at the bottom of my, of my screen. Okay, so now you can see that we can easily select each of the individual faces. Now I want this to be, each of these pieces of wood to be its own kind of like strip. So I'm gonna take all the faces that are one of those and I'm gonna go ahead and click Merge Faces. All right, so now that's one piece of artwork. Now currently it's uh, being tiled, or the artwork's being tiled onto that, but we're gonna select these, make them smaller to fit the, the artwork itself. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm just gonna take a minute just to merge all of these faces. And there we go. So now each of these pieces of wood is a single strip, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these individual faces and you can see where those are at within the artwork. And I wanna scale these down so that they match the size of my artwork down here. Kind of want them to be about the size of the height of the artwork. And then I can take each of these and go ahead and just move them onto my artwork and I'm gonna have the little knob be kind of right in the center of each of these. Now the cool thing is that I can have, I can sample different parts of this artwork so that all the pieces of wood don't look exactly the same. So I'm gonna move these here all real quick. And now you can see I have something that looks a little more like a barrel. Now, of course, the top part, we want that to be just some pieces of wood as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one of those faces, click my grow selection. So it selects all of that. I'm gonna merge faces, so that simplifies. I'm gonna also do the same thing on the bottom just so we have less uh, vertices to deal with. So I'm gonna go ahead and grow selection, merge faces, and now you can see that this really starts to simplify our artwork. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. I want there to be just strips of wood across the top instead of having those bands. So I can actually use a different material. And easily what I'm gonna do is just create this to use the same wood artwork and I'll just have this be wood. We'll, we'll call this barrel wood top, okay? So I'm gonna save that as a sprite into my Unity project, go back over to Unity, 
I also want to create a new material. We can have multiple materials attached to our barrel. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new material. Call this barrel top. And then again, we're gonna go ahead and select that, then take our barrel wood top, and then take that and add that to our base map. We're also gonna change from a metallic workflow to a specular workflow, and then also change our smoothness all the way down so it's nice and flat. Okay, then we're gonna go back and select that top, and then only apply this artwork, this wood barrel top, to the top of our barrel. So let's go ahead select that and now we have something that looks a little more appropriate now we can choose where this kind of lines now we need to go ahead and take the size of this face down to fit our artwork okay so i'm going to go ahead and just scale this down to be something like that and you can see as i move and scale this it's changing in the the face right here And that's not quite small enough, so let's go ahead and scale it down just a touch more. And there we go. We've now created a really nice low poly piece of artwork using Unity and ProBuilder. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that introduction to ProBuilder in Unity. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time. Peace.